Okay, so you're wanting to make a uh, firewall, but you don't have physical hardware. Now, you should always upgrade to physical hardware later, because there would be less security implications with it. But you can go ahead and use virtualizing your hardware for right now. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this. To use VirtualBox to uh, virtualize PFSense. Now we want to go ahead and go to New, Next, PFS. Not really feeling creative, so we're just going to go with that. You're going to go to Linux, Other Linux, and I'm going to set it up to 512 just to speed things up a little. Actually, let's set it up to a gig. Um, create new hardware or create a new disk. Dynamic PFSense and yeah, eight gigs, whatever. All basic stuff that you've probably done before if you've ever created a virtual box. Now, in order to get this running right, we need to come in here to network settings, and we need to change this to bridge. Enable this one, change that to bridge. So we want this to be bridge, and since my network, the inside or the external Ethernet, the external card is ETH1, I want to put ETH1 here, here. And since my internal is ETH0, I'm going to put ETH0 there. Now, in order to distinguish these on the inside, um, we're going to change this to empty server, and then we're going to delete these last two numbers. I'm going to call that zero zero, and then we're going to come in here. I'm going to change this to. By the way, uh, you sh I found that um, PFSense really doesn't like these two, so if you just come down here and use the Intel's, it kind of likes them better than the. Uh, PC nets, so just something interesting. Change that to zero one. So let help us distinguish in the inside what it is in case they get it out of order or something. Okay, don't need audio. Um, choose a virtual disk. So then go out and find it, and mine's right there. And then we're just going to say OK. And we're going to try that bad boy up. And I'm just going to let it boot the way it wants to, into default mode. Now the PFSense that I'm using is the uh, BSD, or Nano BSD Serial Console Edition. I tried the uh, straight up 64 bit one, and it just did not work. I'll, um, yeah, we want to go ahead and say I. For install, and all those things are great for me. Ease, quick and easy, customize, or quick and easy. Okay. Now, if you uh, get your mouse stuck in there, just hit your, um, like, if you're like, oh, where'd my mouse go? Can't find it. Just hit the right control key. I know most of you probably already know that, but, uh, just something to say right there while I'm waiting. Okay. 
Yeah, sure, let's go with the Merlin 1 processor. Reboot. Now, it does say right there that the password is admin for username, pfsense for password. And I'll show you how to change that as well. Okay, now we want to dismount that. And I hit enter. Just got it to go right in. Yep. I didn't dismount it fast enough. It started booting the CD. Hit enter twice. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Um. So now we don't want to configure any virtual lands. Now note though it says ETH zero is ETH one up here. So that means that we have it in the first. So this is the outside, the outside network, and this is the inside. So then in order to complete that, that would mean that ETH Z EM0, since it's reporting that that's one right there with the, uh, let's go into that. Nope. I thought I had the cutesy uh, spin wheel on. Um, anyhow, since it's reporting that it's zero one there, we need to make sure that we put it as this as Ethernet z the LAN and this is the WAN. So this is internal, this is external. So that's why I went ahead and had this put at the end so that I would be able to tell the difference. Now, you could do auto detection, but it's just easier to change the max. Now, for the WAN, we want to put it as EM1. That's outside. And EM0 for the inside. And just hit enter again, and then I'll say, okay, you're done. And I'll ask you to confirm that EM1 is for WAN and EM0 is for LAN. You want to say, yep, that's right. Now, it went ahead and picked up my uh, DHCP on the WAN, because that's the outside, like I just said. So I know that I configured that correctly. And it went ahead and put me on the 1.1 range. And I don't really want to be on that range. So I'm going to change the IP subnet. And I'm going to change the uh, yeah subnet of it. So let's go ahead and uh, go to 2. 2. The IP address that I want is 192.168.0.1, actually 3. I have a funky configuration on my network. You can make that anything you want. I am seeing as how I want it to be successive of the last digit only, 24. Uh, this would be how many digits you want to be able to change. So it kind of shows you there with the zeros. Um, the DHCP, yep, yes sir, I do want that on. Uh, the range I want is 192.168.0.1. Uh, Actually, let's go 200. 
192.168.0. Yeah, make sure you put it in the right IP addresses. 245. Um, actually, let's go with 230. Really don't need a whole lot of IPs for uh, that because below this, below the 200, I'm going to set all my IPs. So this is just for anything that gets in there that doesn't already have an IP that I'm going to set. I really like to set all my IPs for um, logging issues. Um, yes, I want the web console. And there we go. It says just go ahead and go to uh, the 192.168.0.3 and I should be able to see it. So let's just go ahead and go over there. Well, first of all, I should probably connect to the server, right? Let's see, I'm going to come over here and say uh, off zero. Uh, or auto zero. If I've done everything correctly, it should automatically connect. There we go. Um, so, just to confirm that, I can come down here and say connection info. And right there it says three. So, boom, I'm good and set with three. I know a lot of this information is excess and I can go a little bit faster, but best to have more information than less. So then that way you're guaranteed to scale. That way you're more likely to succeed rather than miss some small bit of detail. So, go to that. And remember back when it said, uh, when we finished installing, it said admin npf sense for the password. So I'm going to go admin pf sense. And you definitely don't remember that because you're changing that right now. So we're going in here. And you can leave that as that. Or let's go with magic wall. Nah. Um, so my primary DNS server is 8.8.8.8 .8 that is Google's DNS server and I love that it's just straight 8's so my secondary DNS server will be 192.168.0 or about 1.254 or about 45 255 yeah it's 5.4 um uh, because that's my uh, modems DNS and it'll go to my modem and get DNS queries from that so then I have three in there pretty cool um, and this will allow it to override DNS settings from my WAN And it can do that time server. Really haven't messed with it. Um, we're running DHCP, so none of this needs to be set. But if sometimes whenever you... If it can't pick up it on DHCP, sometimes if you set it in here on the IP, or set static IP, sometimes it'll work. And sometimes it's a small workaround. Um, the LAN IP address is that there's three with a 24 subnet, and now this is where you change your password. So let's go with something cool. Okay. And probably don't wait for that. Reload. 
Reload in progress. Let's test Google. Yep, Google is working. And since I'm using, I'm connected over my, I have it plugged in over my, uh, my modem plugged into my computer, I want to make sure that I have the ETH 1 disabled. And I prob you probably want to come in here and edit connections and say underneath ETH 1. I want to edit that and turn off auto connect. So that way it won't work. And then you want to have ETH 0 as a, or whatever card you have them set as. You want to have them set as a, that way. So that the WAN won't automatically connect and then thus defeating the whole purpose of the firewall. Okay, and just click there and boom, it's all done. And happy. Answer there. Underneath status, you have DHCP leases. Please click on that. It shows you all of the active clients. So there's me, and then there's the other one. And you can just narrow the Wii, and you can just go, oh, there's the Wii, and say add this IP address, blah, 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 blah. I'll give you a one. 92.168.0.31 cuz 3 it's kind of like a w and it kind of becomes like a we I don't know I try and be cute so I like them so I remember them Oh snap um, DHCP server. Well, yeah, you gotta come in here and change this too. Um, so then change that to 200, and that stays at 245. And CP lease add the Wii at 31 and it works so there you go and now you can just go netso with it and it all be set statically and then you can make rules and all kinds of other cool stuff about it and just have a blast okay if you have a question about anything, just let me know and I'll make another video. Bye.